and this is Freya from Love and Saloon and today I'm here with Made by Mummy's Girl Pencil Hugger Design. So for this design you can have bow or no bow, long or short hair, ponytail, bunches or maybe a bun. If you make one of these designs I would love to see them so you can send me a picture of your design on my Facebook page which will be in the description box down below so check that out after this video if you like so the supplies that you'll need for this super awesome girl you is a rainbow loom or any loom with us in a staggered configuration for example a fun loom or a crazy loom You'll also need a hook, so I'm going to be using a metal tip cream hook from Rainbow Loom. You'll also need something to put the girl on. I used a cream, pla a plastic, plastic tip hook to put this one on. But you can use a hook, a pen or a pencil if you fancy. I'm using a hook today. Last but not least, you will need some rubber bands. On this sheet, I've got all the bands that I need to make this girl. I counted them and I got them all ready for this video. So hopefully I have got the um, correct amount of bands. So, for the hair colour, I'm going to be using yellow. Like mine, over here. I used 55 rubber bands for the whole hair if you want it like this, get this long and two pieces on each side. You can have more or less if you like. For the skin colour you're going to need 17 rubber bands for that. Also you're going to need colour for your clothes. I used blue but I'm going to use purple. You need 43 or more and you'll also need two colours for the eyes. I'm going to be using navy blue. I used bright green on these but I think navy blue would look quite nice. Also you'll need four less or more extras. I'm using bright light green and they're for the bows if you want bows. If you don't want bows then you don't need as many rubber bands. So let's get started with our super awesome rainbow loom made by mummy girl pencil hugger. Ta -da! So now you've got everything ready we're going to start making this super cute super awesome girl pencil hugger. So, your loom is going to be um, with the red arrow facing up the loom, if you know, so it's like that, as you can see that. So, let's start. So, you're going to get one colour, one rubber band of your hair colour and place it like that. Then you're going to get two and you're going to go diagonally this way straight forward and at the other side so after that you're going to get two bands and go down like so another two bands and go down like that and you'll and then after that that's your hair bit sorted out for this part here now you're going to get your first two bands which are going to be your skin tone so you're going to go down in the middle down here and down on the other side so you're going down once then you're going to get two and go diagonally from this part 
to this part and then two bands diagonally again like so and then you're going to get two more bands and of course go down now you're going to get two more skin colored bands and go straight down now on made by mommy's video she said you need 16 skin colored bands but she made um she forgot one more extra band so it is actually 17 so i'm now going to place that band so i don't forget so basically you're just gonna do a cap capping band or a triple band um i'm gonna do cap like capping band and you're going to place it on top on that peg to make the neck part so now i'm going to um just so make sure your loom looks like this and now we're going to get started with the clothes so you're going to get your first colour that you want for your clothes I'll put it this way for a minute so it's easier and you're going to get two and you're going to go diagonally straight down two bands at a time and diagonally again <coughs> Now what you're going to do is get another two and you're going to go down, down, and down. Now you're going to go down one more time on both sides. Yes, you are. So, and then what you're going to do is get two more bands and you're going to go diagonally up. Like so. So it looks like that. So that's the main body for the back of it here now to make the bit that grips round you're going to get two bands and you're going to go down to the very bottom of your loom on each side which should be five times so one two three four five now i'm going to do it again on the other side nearly all your bands finished being laid but it isn't all of them so now you're going to do the capping bands now it depends do you, if you want it to be doubled or just normal capped or tripled i used um just normal cap band for this one so i'm going to do that again so you're just going to go around and put it on one end like so and then you're going to do that again like so now you go i'm just going to put it this way because it's going to be a bit easier so now you've got the capping bands and everything i'm going to focus on this for one second here and basically you're just going to go after you've gone down one here you're going to do a triangle then you're going to get skin tone band and 
here, you're going to do a triangle. Now, before you do a triangle here, you need to place down the eye. So get your two eye colours and wrap it round um, as many times as you want. I do it three times, so one. So like so. And then another time on the other side. So it's like that. Now you're going to take your final skin tone band and place it on there. And then what we're going to do is we're going to get the girl's hair sorted out. So to do that, it isn't too hard it's quite easy so if you want it to be like two like on each side then that's what i'm doing now i'm gonna have 10 long down so one strand so, no yeah 10 long um, and including the capping band that's 11 bands so you're gonna use 11 bands so that's 22 on this side and 22 on that side so make sure you've got, if you want it like this, then that's the bands that you need. I'm now going to go right down and I'm going to use my hook for this. You're going to go around your hook three times so you can see three loops on your hook. You're going to take one band and you're going to go up doing a single chain at ten times. So that's one two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, and ten. Now I'm just going to count and check I've got ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, I've got 10. So now I'm going to go to the head and place it on here. Now I'm going to do this three more times. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. So that's my two on one side finished. I'll show you one more time. Going around through two to three times, so there's three loops, and then going ten times. So I'll just get ten, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten. Good counting today. One. Oopsie. If that happens, um, don't worry. It's easy to fix. Seven, eight, nine, and last but not least, 
number 10. And I'm going to place it on this side now. So it's like that. And then I'm going to continue to do that once more. So... Just give the hair a stretch, 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 stretch. Now we are going to just get the eyes sorted out. So basically, you've got the bands underneath, and you just need to bring those bands up and over the top like so and if you want to use pony beads for your eyes or any type of beads you just thread the beads on and it may end up like this so you just need to remember to take this band and bring it over so it's in a triangular shape so now we've got everything just about set up and ready so let's start looping so basically first let's loop this bit so you're just going to go forward now don't go ahead and loop the whole body you need to do something first so when you get to this part where the band goes diagonally can you see how the band goes diagonally you stop there put your thumb or finger and take it off swing it round to the shoulder and put it like that so it's like that um, and then you're going to do that again on the other side don't forget to hold your thumb put your thumb or finger down just in case it comes off so again, stop where the band goes diagonally, finger or thumb, I prefer finger, swing it round and where the shoulder is, just go in line with the other one. Give them a bit of a stretch and that's that bit sorted. Now you're going to pull back these bands and you're going to get try and find pull them back maybe and try and find the bands that go diagonally or just the top two bands do that pull back again and go forward push that down and repeat on the opposite side top two probably go diagonally and these bands just move that to the side I'm going to loop forward in the middle. You have to go through all those bands and get the bottom two and just loop forward to there. Then you're going to loop forward and you're going to go diagonally and then you're going to pull, get those bands and then go diagonally on this side again. So that is all those bands looped. As you can see here and now you're gonna have to go through all those bands it's gonna be quite hard to show you this all right can you see all right, I'm going through all those bands and getting those bands there and be careful because it you need to try and make sure your bands don't break so you need to be very careful and gentle and stretch it a bit now you're up to the bit where there's that capping band so just pull it back and then if I can get just two bands then I'll loop forward so you get the 
bands and you go forward and then you get the next bands and you go diagonally and then the bottom two and that's that and then I like to go through the centre straight away and then I'm going with the yellow as well and this side I'm going to do next and go forward and then get those yellows and I'll just leave that on that peg there and then go like that and go forward if you want to add both then you can watch the next step in the video but if you want help don't want both just you can go to the end where I actually take it off my loom and stretch it out and put it on my hook or whatever I'm using so now I'm just going to pull these bands back as hard as I can but without breaking them and getting those bottom two yellow bands that go diagonally and there we go so like that and then do that on the other side so somehow I need to pull it and look for it right that looks successful so just check everything's looped up check 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 yeah i think everything's looped so now i'm just going to go in all these bands here and get that single yellow band so don't forget to stretch it a bit and bring that over and then just squeeze it a bit right now you're going to bring the bottom band and you're just going to do a simple slip knot. Sorry about the noise. <clears throat> um, there's your slip knot. I just put it on here until we take everything off just to keep it safe. So I'm going to start from here and take off these bands. I think I really, I really enjoyed making this video it's so much fun making pencil huggers and um made by mummy does a lot a big selection of different pencil huggers so now i'm just taking off this part and then this side and again make sure you've looped everything and not forgotten to loop something or else it'll all fall apart so make sure you've got everything looped up now i'm going to get that last and da, 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 da. here's what it looks like when it just about comes off now I'll just stretch the hair out stretch the head out make sure everything's all right, then stretch it. If it normally comes out with the face like this. If you turn it round and pull it like that, that's the way it should be because that's the way it looks best with. Now stretch the arms, and that worked quite well, so I'm happy. And then you're going to turn around to the back, and then you're going to just stick your hook in and get that slip knot if you don't want it as a pencil hugger you can keep the slip knot out if you fancy but I'm hiding mine and I've tucked it in there so there now I'm going to show you how to make the b -b 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 bows I like the bow part they're really fun and really simple and as you can see here so basically you're just going to get two bands and I'm going to use a pattern of green, purple, green, like this. And you're placing it on. And I'll do that on the other side. So green, purple, green. Now you should have just about two more purples left. And you need them. 
So get your hook, get one of the purple bands or whatever band you've got left, and just bring them under and bring it over. And I'll do that again. Put it on there, under, bring your hook underneath, over. And then you're going to get the bottom band and bring it over. Pull it so it's tight and then pop them both off. Now just sort it out, make sure it looks perfect and not what you want it to look like. And then you're going to get the girl, you're going to get with this hair and put it through. Now I do it like go round three two more times just to make it secure. So that's one and then one last and I'll do that one last time. So it's like that and then I'm gonna try and move it around so it's in place and pull it a bit. And that's that side. It's very windy today, as you can sort of hear. Um, yes. And then you're going to bring this. And then you're going to go around like twice. If you want, you can go around three times. I think I might go around three times. So I'll go around an extra time. I think it depends on what this side looks like if it looks all right i actually think that looks perfect uh brilliant well to me for doing this okay this side is what we want we want it here and then this comes out um so i'm just trying to sort out her hair and everything and make her look super cute because this is a super cute design um i think i've done a brilliant job and again if you want you could if you want to show me your design um post it on my facebook page and i'll have a look now i'm going to get what i'm putting it on which is a hook just put it through the arms and there you have a super cute girl or maybe a princess or anything pencil hugger so please subscribe to my channel because there's lots more videos coming up your way and also like this video and comment down below if you liked this video so thank you for watching and i'll see you again soon Toodle Pippo!